I ain't even gonna wait for it to get too hot, y'all, because I'm hungry and I want this. Okay. Later down the line, I got pregnant once again, hoping maybe he would have a change of heart, knowing I had the abortion the first time, but no. He wasn't happy yet again. In between then and now, I have taken over 15 plan B's for him. And when I bring up condoms, he don't even want to use them. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gonna eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph and Tasha, and we back with another video. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna ask you guys to please thumbs the video up if you like it. Share, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Baby, tell them what we're doing. Today, you guys, we are doing one of my favorites, Mexican street tacos. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're going to be warming it up. We're going to make the tacos right on camera with you guys. You ready? Yeah. Then let's get into the video. We're back. We ain't got to do a thumbnail or nothing because we don't have Good. no food ready. I be getting tired of thumbnails, y'all, because I be hungry. So, cool. All right, y'all, so let's tell them what we got back. So this is carne asada. This is chicken. Yes. Or pollo. And this is my favorite El Pastor. Yes. And then we also have the onion and cilantro here. Barely any cilantro, which is annoying me. And we got lime and some radish over there. We got green, red salsa, and um, Rojo avocado. Verde. 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 Okay. And Rojo. Okay. You guys are hating my Spanish. Uh, verde. All right, let's, let's get into this. I'm hungry, okay? Rojo. We got a ton of, I think they gave us way more tortillas than we need. But that's well, why I usually put two. That's yeah, I know. Right. So, which is good because I usually take one off. So now I can just start it with one if I can get them separated. All right. So we had to drive about 25 minutes, y'all, to get this. Is it on? Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> let, let us warm up the the grill. It's a little warm, but it wasn't on. So I turned it off because it's just way too hot in here, y'all. That's that juicy carne asada. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Chicken. Al Pastor. Mm. I generally do not eat Al Pastor, but I taste the little piece behind your back. <laughs> that sucker was so good. You guys, we got this from a taco truck on La Brea and Venice. Shout out to Giselle, my friend. She's actually the she one. She told you about it? About, uh, no, not about the taco truck. About uh, the El Paso. Oh, El Paso. I never okay. was into it. One night we went out. Man, we killed. Like 75 tacos. Me, her, and this other girl. I don't know what happened. I guess we were supposed to have a lot of people over, but it ended up just being us three, so we got a whole lot of tacos. Me, her, and this other girl killed them tacos, y'all. I think we ate them all. So this place, it's called Leo's Taco Truck if you're in LA. I'm sure a lot of you probably already know about it because it's very popular. They're all, every one of these meats are very well seasoned. And I'm about to say, there's a, I ain't even gonna wait for it to get too hot, y'all, because I'm hungry and I want this. Okay. I'm about to get right I'm in. Keep my El Pastor on this side. Nah, I'm not. Can't hide. I'm gonna go right for my favorite carne asada. Of course, we got, oh, just, oh, just burnt my knuckle, y'all. It's fine. Ain't burnt my Any, wrist. Anything for tacos. Mm. That's a good. Ain't it? I was like, what? I, I never eat those when you get them, but I, don't, I might have to say I ain't talking about El Pastor, I'm talking about the carne asada. Right, oh, ooh. you taste the carne asada? Oh, yeah, okay. I just tasted it, the one that fell on my arm. <laughs> All right, yeah. y'all. Ooh, this, this is hot. Turn it down, man. Woo-hoo! It's getting hot, y'all. Look at that. Can you tell if it's, um, something? Is this focusing? Put it closer. All right, hopefully y'all can see it. If not, sorry. This is about to go in my mouth right now. Gotta put the lime. I like it exactly how they make it. And get cilantro, lime, and salsa. Mm, mm, mm. Which salsa do I want? I think you like green better. Ooh, that's good. Mm. It's hot. You want to put it on warm now? I mean, because yeah. the food is pretty hot. Yeah, so, y'all, we doing a topic today. Tasha has one. I brought one, too. Because I think the one you have, we're probably going to get through real fast. Yeah, it's going to be short. It's an easy answer. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
I love this. Let me move along to chicken. See how that works for me. And then, last but not least, my El Paso. Ow. What you mean, my? Pastor. Owl Pastor. <laughs> Owl. Pastor. <laughs> Owl. 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 Mm. I might have to do this every time I get to go. Uh, make them like this mm. so the meat is just like piping hot. Mm. That's long. Bum, bum. You grab Tasha's green sauce that she don't like. You got a spoon? Yeah. Woo-wee. Ooh, this is hot, y'all. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, y'all, I stayed up all night last night. I didn't try to. I couldn't sleep though. I tried to sleep. I laid down for a little while and was like, well, maybe if I just lay down, don't move around. Mm, that's delicious. You want some? Yeah, but Let's it didn't work. So I just got up, start playing my game. I don't know what sauce I should put on the uh, Alpha store, you guys. Let me know what size sauce you guys use. I know people generally use the red sauce for the carne asada and green for chicken. I don't eat all pasta, so I don't even know what to do. I think I want, I like this red sauce too. I'm gonna do that. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we went here. We we're gonna settle on this spot close to our home. Oh, <laughs> I like Nico's. Like you like the better than this? No, it's the same. Mm -mm. I don't feel like this one is better than the better. other. Oh, you do? You think so? Mm-hmm. Their meat is way better. And I don't like uh, Nico's chicken. I hate Nico's chicken. Mm -hmm. With them, I like all their meats. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Got me some real tortilla chips, y'all. I'm being greedy. How? Because I, I wanted. <laughs> I want to grab some two hundred something. While I'm eating this, you know, we got a really fun video coming up tomorrow. We're going to be recording it tomorrow, so may not be out until the weekend. But we got something real fun coming up. I'm going to try, y'all. <laughs> I already know Tasha's about to be a mess. You know her and her characters. I'm just going to say in her characters, y'all. Okay, she's very good. I've never tried this character, though, so <laughs> I don't know. It's new to me. The character might change over time. I already know I'm gonna have to figure out how not to crack up. Okay. Carnitas and I, I want I the like same chicken. chicken. And <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. A mix. Is that enough? Or you want yeah. More? That's okay. enough. Chicken. You want chicken? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try chicken. Oh, you didn't try any chicken? Thank you. No. All right, let me. I'm gonna mix mine too. I'm putting all three meats in this one, y'all. No. It's hot, y'all. It is so hot. I'm hot. If I look disturbed, y'all, it's, it's the heat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love y'all. I love my wife. I know. I love food, but I like being cold. I would much rather freeze than be cold. I don't know. It's very uncomfortable. I mean, hot. It's very hard, y'all. I'll say. I'm trying yeah. to do videos when you're uncomfortable. I never had one of these. Did I just eat them? Yeah. I think some places. Theirs, I think, is literally raw. There's nothing on them, right? This taco is so fat and gluttonous. <laughs> oh, it's hot. I'm scared. You know what? I'm about to put this on the side. I have an old chicken sitting here looking at me. That's been sitting there. I'm going to eat that for a minute. That taco look good. That one down there? Which one? That one's sitting there by itself. <laughs> I'm about to eat. The one cooling off? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm about to get into the topic, y'all. My kids go to school where my ex lives, which is two hours from where I live, and I see my son Friday through Sunday. It's not a lot of time, so I want to be able to at least call my son, who is seven, and see how his day at school went, and tell him how much I love him and to have a good night, which is understandable. Um, I would think that would be reasonable. No, 
My ex has been in a relationship going on five years now and he tells me that I'm not able to and that I need to realize that he has a significant other and calling that much is disrespectful to her. Am I asking for too much? My first, my initial response was, that's your son, him and his significant other. Period. Now that's the first thing I said. But then I said, but if the problem is that she doesn't want you speaking to her man, maybe get your son his own phone so you never have to talk to a man with an insecure girlfriend. Um, I wanna know, is there anybody out there who's in this situation, but you are the girlfriend? Do you feel like the baby mom should not, should only call a certain amount of times a week or whatever it is? And before you answer that, do you have children? Or do you have Answer your own that children? too. Because if you don't have your own, say for instance, if Elijah lived with um, his donor, if that, whatever, I would call my son every day. I would call my son every single day, but I sure in the hell don't need to talk to his dad. Right. You don't have to. He's seven. You don't need to talk to his dad. You can. And then if his dad sees you calling, that's what she said. Hand the phone to your son. Y'all ain't got to speak. Exactly. Hand the phone right to the son. That's what I say. Um, to the other people, but they ain't listening. So to her, hell no, you ain't asking too much. If you want to talk to him all day long, go right ahead. Okay. That's how I feel about it. Um, I feel like it's really immature for people to get in relationships with people who have kids and then expect that you really gonna cut off the other parent <laughs> that wants to be a parent? No, mm -hmm. that's ridiculous. There ain't no number of times she should call a week, the, the length of time she should be talking to people, ain't none of that. Even, now, go ahead, I go. feel like either the, the girlfriend is very immature or that man be up to some tricks. Either way, you know, the mom shouldn't be cut off like that. But I feel like that's one of the, one of, it's either one of the two things. He be playing games, maybe, I think a lot of times. Or she's giving the, girl, the new girlfriend reason to feel like there's an issue. Yeah, if you being all, you know, yeah. That, that could be it too. Cause um, I don't, I would be annoyed as hell if you had like a baby mama who was like being disrespectful and inappropriate. That can happen. I think that happens a lot. Mm -hmm. But she wouldn't tell me that she couldn't talk to her son every day. No, I'd be like, you don't need to talk to her. Give him, let's get, I would have already got him a phone. <laughs> if I was a girlfriend, I would have gotten the kid a phone. Like, here you go. Mm -hmm. Tell your mom to call this. Uh -huh. Cut that shit off real quick. But if I was the mom, I'd buy him a phone. Mm -hmm. I would buy my son a phone. And just call that phone when you want to talk to him. Mm -hmm. Boom. Problem solved. I mean, maybe y'all have some history and it's just not good. Right. Are we missing anything from the story? Yeah, we might be missing something from the story. Maybe you guys were going back and forth. Maybe he cheated. Maybe y'all done got into a fight, you and a girl. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But no matter what, there's still not a number of times that you should be limited to. to talk to your child. Yeah, no matter what. Second topic. I think this is the first time we actually got to two topics. <laughs> We have said we're going to do something so many times, y'all. All right. Not in my video yesterday. I talked about four different things. Oh, you did? That's what somebody said. They were like, damn, Tasha, you talked about four different things. But like different people's topics? Just different or just different stuff. shit you want to talk about? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I dated a guy for two years. In the beginning of our relationship, I ended up living with him and his mom because I got kicked out. Shortly after, I got pregnant. I was super happy because I always wanted to be a mom. Unfortunately, he was not happy because he already had a six-year-old kid and he was staying with his mom, which I understand, but abortion was against everything I believed in. After weeks of going back and forth, I finally gave in because I loved him and I thought that was best. Later down the line, I got pregnant once again, hoping maybe he would have a change of heart knowing I had the abortion the first time, but no, he wasn't happy yet again. And so I got another abortion. I thought in my head, this will make him happy, showing him that I wasn't selfish and that I loved him enough to do that for him because that's what he wanted. In between then and now, I have taken over 15 Plan Bs for him. And when I bring up condoms, he don't even want to use them. Fast forwarding now, I am pregnant for the third time. And this time, I am safe and sound living with an amazing support system who is just as excited as I am. We are not together and we rarely speak. But when we do, abortion is yet again the answer he has given to me. I'm sad because I put my body through this 
a lot for this one person in less than two years and he doesn't seem to care he doesn't seem to get it my biggest fear is that i will have to parent this child alone and that no one will give me love because i have a child already please tell me how to get through this first of all thank you he's a jerk and me yeah he don't want to be a dad forget him all the while you try not to be selfish and that's all he doing is being selfish right. why do we do this over and over again with these people you guys think about what you're doing for the people that you're doing them for you are trying so hard to prove to him that you really love him that He's you're not selfish, selfish. yeah and i'm gonna have an abortion and possibly mess my body up um and kill my child that i don't want to even kill she wanted the first child I'm doing all this for who am I doing it for? Mm hmm Okay. He don't even want work on him. He want you to deal with it mm -hmm. when you get pregnant. Mm-hmm. We gotta stop, ladies. You have to understand that you're probably going to be raising a child on your own. That's the choice that you're gonna make. That's the choice that you're making for keeping the baby. Yep. You knew this man didn't want no babies. Mm -hmm. So neither one of you took precautions. I mean you did, you did plan B. I don't think abortion is precaution. I think that's after the fact. But okay. um, that's your choice. Actually, it was his choice. You just chose to do what he wanted. Go along with it, right. But women do need to take accountability for their part in, yeah. in what's Get going on. You didn't have to keep sleeping with him. You didn't. You could have got on birth control pills. You could have forced him to use a condom and said, I'm not doing it without one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You definitely have control over what you are doing with yourself and the decisions that you make. So you know we're not saying that that it's all his fault no then he, he's letting you know he don't want no kids so i definitely would be trying to be protecting myself mm -hmm. it wasn't even a maybe it's not like you're not sure he's saying i don't want no kids okay so when you put yourself in the position to get pregnant by him that right there you should already be saying i'm probably gonna be a single parent yeah you should have known from not from the day one but after a few times of getting rid of the babies i mean that ain't for him. And you don't have to be for him. Raise that baby on your own. Your child will be happy. I mean, and as far as you saying anybody going to want you with a kid, I don't even, that's don't true. even, that's not even true. Mm -mm. Another man that's good for you will also be good for your child. That's true. So, um, and you don't settle for anybody unless they are good enough for you and your child. Don't lie to yourself to get pregnant by somebody who don't want kids. You already had two experiences before this pregnancy yeah that too don't get pregnant by somebody who already let you know they don't want kids they probably don't want kids they probably right. they probably don't want them you're not about to make him want kids i don't understand why a man is out here doing it unsafely but don't want kids you know a whole bunch of women go around and keep babies that you what? don't want anyway Stop you know kids you have? Exactly. Man. he gonna end up with a lot of kids if he don't believe in condoms, yeah. Good luck. As far as you now, you'll be okay. You will definitely be okay. Him. Take care of you. Get yourself together. You'll find love again. Yeah, kids. Kids are cool. People like kids. I mean, as long as they ain't bad. As long as they're not bad. Teach, teach your kids some manners. Cause don't nobody like. Shit, some people don't like their own badass kids, and you really don't want to deal with nobody else's badass kids. Ready? Yep. <laughs> if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you guys think. Step and touch the vlogs. Link in the description below. Mm -mm. If you like the video, you guys, give it a thumbs up. Let us know. Comment and let us know what you guys think. Please subscribe to our vlog channel. The link is in the description below. Make sure you set your post notifications to all so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. And until next time, only, only good vibes. vibes. Peace.